My best man was kind enough to give me this, the Legend of Zelda Manga Box Set. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you another unboxing video, this one's of this Manga Box Set that was given to me as I said by my best man. This is actually a birthday gift that's been a few months coming and that's just because he ordered it, it came in pretty damaged as the box so then he got another one and I think this is the third one because he knows I'm a collector and he wants it to be in pretty good condition. Thank you so much if you're ever watching this video to my best man, you're an outstanding human being and you're very very thoughtful and very giving. You're incredible to give me this, very great gift actually, love it. So this set includes, it says right here, The Legend of Zelda Complete Manga Series, Volumes 1 to 10. There's some pictures of what this manga set looks like. It does have a collectible poster, and there's a nice picture of Zelda herself right there. Here is all the volumes that I will go through more in detail once I actually unwrap this. On this side, we have a picture of Young Link, and you do have Navi right there. And on the other side, we have a picture of Link and Zelda as well. And then on the bottom, it does say that this is obviously art and story by, I'm going to try and pronounce this name, Akira Hemakawa. Hopefully I got close. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. This is an official Nintendo sealed item. And it looks like the pricing here is about $80 in the US and in Canada, and euros maybe about $50 in the UK, it looks like. So there is some pricing information right down there. And then the year on here, it says 2008-2010 Nintendo. So it is printed in the USA, it says there as well, if you were wondering where this was created or printed. Maybe not created, but printed here anyways. So great looking set. The top looks like that, if I didn't show you. Looks really cool, even the package is really good. Let's open this up and take a look at what each of the books kind of looks like. I won't be reading, obviously, them for you in this video. But depending on how much I like them, I might actually read these in a series of videos and read them one at a time. I think that would be pretty darn cool. So let's open this up and take a look at what these look like. Maybe I'll just pull out the first one first. So these ones actually, let's just look at the spines of all of them just to give you an idea. Maybe there won't be as much glare now that I actually took it out. So this is a lot of the different games actually in story with art. So we do have here on the bottom, you have Ocarina of Time in a two part series right there. Majora's Mask, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, Four Swords Twice, Diminished Cap, A Link to the Past, and Phantom Hourglass. That's really cool. So there are a lot of games that aren't in here. And if there are two part series, because there are some of them, it does have part one, part two. This Triforce is red for Ocarina of Time. That's a little strange that they reserved the gold Triforce for four swords. Just a little nitpick that I had to give there. And then they have different pictures of Link, a lot of the different incarnations of Link. And it looks really cool because each of them are kind of for that game in that series, which is really awesome. Minish Cap being one of my favorites. I love that one. Phantom Hourglass looks pretty cool because it looks like he's from Wind Waker, and obviously the ones from Ocarina of Time are young and older Link, which looks really cool, or adult Link. Now let's pull out one of these and have a look at what this looks like. So these ones you actually usually read backwards from my understanding because it's manga, so you do read from this page. On the back you have a little bit of a story, and if you want to buy the books individually, it looks like they are available that you can buy them. $10 each or $13, it's weird that the price change is there, but not on the box set. And they do have a little bit of an overview on them. I'm not going to go through everything, but there's just kind of getting the idea of these. Really neat artwork on the fronts. And there's the first page, it looks like. And it talks about the game a bit, and obviously the creator of this whole series. And then you can actually start reading this. It tells you the contents, and it goes through with some really cool pictures and artwork. Wow, this looks really awesome, actually. I think I'm definitely going to read through this as a series at some point. Hopefully you can just get an idea of what this looks like. I don't think it will be too many spoilers in here, but that's pretty cool. Chapter title pages. That poster's so iconic, you've probably seen that kind of thing before. Really, really interesting drawings and artwork. I think I'm going to have to read through these. Look at that artwork right there. That looks absolutely outstanding. Hopefully we can get a good shot of that. That looks really cool. He's riding Epona, his horse. That looks outstanding. This whole series, I think I'm really going to be excited to read. I think it'll be really awesome. Wow, so there's the end. So there are next volumes, which are all here already, obviously. So there's 10 of these, and I don't think I'll go through all of them, but I'll give you an idea of what the different covers look like, maybe. So there's the second version, looking pretty cool. Part two of this one. And let's go through them one by one, maybe. There is the Majora's Mask cover. That looks so cool. That looks awesome. I love this artwork style. Really well done. And there we have Oracle of Seasons, really colorful in green. Green's one of my favorite colors personally. Don't know why if that matters whatsoever. And then of course Oracle of Ages, looking more blue. Great games by the way that you should probably play on handheld if you've never played them before. The first entry in Four Swords, really nice pictures of Link there with the Four Swords. 
And then we have Four Swords Part 2. We have that cover. Wow, that one looks much better. I don't know why. I like this cover really much. A lot more. Just because they all look so happy, and I love how their swords are up together. They look like a team. That looks pretty cool. And then the next up, we have the Minish Cap. Minish Cap, different title page. Completely different art style. Very, very different. That game is also one of the best handheld Zelda games, I think, of all time. Probably with A Link Between Worlds, way up there. Now we have A Link to the Past with that cover kind of that we already saw on the side of the box. And then the last one is Phantom Hourglass. Not really sure how they chose these ones. So there's Phantom Hourglass. You have a few of the other characters. Like, I think that's Linebeck. And then you also have Tetra there on the side. And then there is some other little stuff in here, it looks like, because I probably have a poster that I'm happy I didn't miss out on. And it says a free poster, but this poster is very, very small, I must say. But at least it's something. So The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Part 1, a very small poster. This looks like it's not even a full page. Maybe 5 inches across by 8 to 10 inches, something like that. Smaller poster, but just something nice you could hang up. Nothing on the back, but at least it comes in this set. They had to keep it small, actually, if they wanted to include it in this set. So for maybe $80, thank you. I have no idea what he spent on it, but thank you so much for this gift. That's truly outstanding. If you're interested in any sort of comic books or manga, I would highly probably recommend this. I think I'm going to do a series of videos where I actually read through all of them so you can have a better idea for it. If you're interested in this kind of thing, please stay tuned for more of my videos. If you're interested in getting these, you can probably search them on Amazon or on eBay or different places like that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to fill that like, like bucket. Feel free to fill that like bucket. There we go. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and just keep smiling while gaming.